<laughs> okay. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to my YouTube channel. We are here today with Roger Gabriel. I just met him today on <laughs> Beagle to my hyena brother, Fly Black Boy. And we're going to just talk about everything that Roger likes. He's into plant life. <laughs> He's he do paintings. He's into rocks and who knows what else. But we're just going to get to know our new friend, and he can just tell us whatever he want to know. And we're going to ask fifty million questions. Well, not not fifty million, but you know, just a little bit. <laughs> but welcome, watching, welcome, welcome, welcome to my thank YouTube you for channel. Having yes, me we're on glad here. to thank have you. you here. Definitely. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are so glad to have you here. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, yes. So how long have you grown your plants? uh so far it's been about four years oh okay yeah so it's pretty new to me um as far as like plants i've been around them my whole life my mom actually has the green thumb as they say so yes. you know i i thought i as i grew older i was like you know maybe i'll try it out again and you know, growing indoor plants is different than growing outdoor plants because I grew a bunch of indoor plants and killed them all. And so, oh, wow. you know, it's it's too much water. Normally, that ends up killing the plants. And so that's what I did. It's just like babying them and like too much water. So now I'm, I, I got into cactuses and that's what I specialize in, cactuses and succulents. Okay, wonderful. So those are those only two types of plants that you grow is the cactus uh, right and now, No, there's a lot more, but um those are my favorites. Those are the ones that I love to collect and um Okay. You know, hopefully get them to pop up and to propagate basically to make more out of just one, you know. Okay. All right, cuz I want to ask you your favorites. Oh, there's a lot. And and, and and then of course, you know like uh is there like um uh, a certain type of cactus and a certain type of uh, succulent yeah, that you like? Yeah, like right now I'm into Masems and they're from South Africa. Okay. It's a weird, yeah, it's a weird word, M-E-S-E-M-B-S. -E -E and these okay. are the succulents that kind of look like rocks. They look wow, like, really? Yeah, yeah, if you look, yeah, if you look at their habitat, they, they, grow where there's like crystals and things like that and rocks and colorful wow. rocks and things like that and so it just blends in yeah. oh, wow that that is amazing i was telling fly because me personally uh i like flower you know i love mm -hmm. rosie roses is my favorite that's tight they're they're definitely flower. hardy well, hardy plants uh, it's hard to uh, kill i'm trying them. to <laughs> Like I'm trying that. to grow some fruits and uh, little Fruit. things of that nature. And mm -hmm. uh, my mom also had the green thumb when she was mm -hmm. living. And mm -hmm. so now I am older as well. And I'm trying to see if I had the green thumb. Yeah, so I'm trying to yeah. get my, uh, I'm trying to get me, my greenhouse yeah. uh, put the up. Greenhouse is great. If you have a greenhouse, that's mm -hmm. the best. I was telling Fly that when I get my greenhouse put up, I might grow, like plant some of the succulent like around it for decoration yeah. that probably would be pretty and then everything else i'll just have on the inside that i'm trying to grow like right, right now i have a uh, strawberry mm. i have a papaya plant a uh, blue mm. blueberry plant mm. uh i have two bell pepper plants so i, just, I have a Ooh. little bit a little yeah. bit right now <laughs> and so i'll be glad when i get the um the greenhouse up because as far as my strawberry plant i had fly laughing i said when my first strawberry grew some animals, I don't know if it was birds or if it was squirrels, <laughs> ate my strawberry. Yeah, that's then my pro yeah, second. that's my problem. I have crows and little bunnies and they just <laughs> they see something shiny and red and they're like, boop. They're like they're gonna get it. Yeah. And then the second one grew, it was starting to turn red. But it, I think it, it went bad a little bit. I don't know if because we've been getting a lot of rain off and on. I'm in yeah, Louisiana. Yeah, the rain, so we've the been rains. having uh, a lot of rain, you know, off and on and uh, um, uh, uh, tornado watch and <laughs> yeah, watches and stuff. all this kind of stuff. So yeah, bye, <laughs> maybe bye. it got too much rain. <laughs> yeah, too much rain. That's what it'll do. Yeah, and I see that we have 
I see that we have somebody visiting with us. I don't know who it is. If you can say something in the comments and we can acknowledge you, but welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining our live. We have Roger Gabriel with us. I just met him today. <laughs> we go my hyena brother fly black boy and yeah. we're talking about plant life we're going to talk about some paintings rocks yeah. and things roger want to talk about we're just getting to know our new friend so whoever yeah. you are that just came in uh thank you for being here if you want to say something in the comments we can acknowledge who you are so yes i would uh fly you have any questions so far um well i do have i don't have a green thumb yet but my mom left her plant and I, baby, I'm having a hard <laughs> time with those plants. Yeah. Wow. What, what kind of plants are they? They're house plants. Um, house plants, yeah. It's it's some lilies, peace lilies. Um, some running, some running dew. Um, and some kind of other. It's all types of plants in here. well so, indoor indoor the best indoor thing place. is humidity i mean if you turn on a humidifier that usually helps them out a lot because they'd like to get water from the air oh yeah. okay yeah so if you just have like a little humidifier just turn it on okay hey, hey coco delicious how you doing baby this is our hyena sister coco delicious hey, coco. i'm gonna interview her uh eventually <laughs> thank you coco for being here <laughs> exactly but yeah those um a, a, a humidifier who knew yeah I yeah know she had some yeah, in a in a jar that she had broke off those are cool growing, those yeah those you just keep watering the them you just keep watering those and they stay alive. I like that way the best. Yeah. But you you y'all you know, know what? When my mom when my mom passed off. when my mom passed in 2004, um mm -hmm. we got some plants and um one of the plants I had was a peace lily. Now that's the easy plant because a peace lily, like you were saying, all you gotta do is uh just keep it watered. And when it comes to a peace lily, it lets you know. When it needs to be water because okay, of the uh, cause leaves want to droop. Room, be laying over like this. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> when, you, when you see it drooping. When you see it drooping, that's when you need to uh, water a, a peace lily. I like them. So that's probably the easiest plant, to my knowledge, you know, to take care of, you know, indoors or probably even, even outdoors. Yeah, because <laughs> when when she first was laid over. <laughs> <laughs> Something's <laughs> wrong. <laughs> fly, fly, fly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought they were out of Goma. <laughs> I put one of them. They perked but, right back up. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> then my grandma told me a little trick. She was like, put a little uh a little Ajax in the water, a little um dish detergent. Oh, uh -huh. she okay. Was like, uh -huh. Um, we and just let it sit. And she was like a gallon of water, uh -huh. and about three or four drops of Ajax. And uh -huh. she was like, they'll just perk up and like, woohoo! I'm like, okay, grandma. <laughs> <laughs> and you know I'm what, my know what um I'm talking about because they sprouting like wildfire. And my and look, my uh, late husband's sister was telling me how you can put eggshells. Yes, but I thought. But they didn't do nothing. Mine. I it died. You just broke the. I mean, um, put the eggshells on top. Then nobody tell me you had to break the eggshells up. <laughs> yeah, like perfectly round eggshells just sitting just on top. You do the hole on top, on hole top. in the bottom, blowing the yolk out, and you just leave it on top. Bunch of them. <laughs> I thought you just put the whole eight shells on top. Oh. And then another thing, another thing that my sister them up in, in the place. Yeah. And then another thing my sister in law told me about was uh like like I have an ice maker, like you can put ice on there. Like mm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh well. On the plant, you know, in the in the in the inside the plant. That didn't work for me. 
Neither <laughs> wet diet. So I'm not I, trying to do that. I'm, that's when I just stick with water. Okay. <laughs> it was a plant <laughs> that my cousin killed. <laughs> <laughs> her friend gave her. <laughs> Keep your in-laws away from your plants. <laughs> okay. My cousin <laughs> killed her. No, her friend gave her this plant. Specifically, <laughs> and she told her friend when you plant that our friendship over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. And when she okay, she read the instructions. The plant called for six ice cubes. Oh, like that's all it was for the month six ice cubes. Hmm. She watering it. And put those ice cubes in there. She was doing both. That wasn't what the direction <laughs> said. And she killed that she she killed that thing in on uh, one month. Oh like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> she like it's our first ship over. Oh. <laughs> Coco, stop it. <laughs> 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 Okay. Yeah. Smoke, 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 smoke. That's flower. That's that flower for you. Okay. <laughs> oh, Coco. <laughs> smoke, smoke, smoke. Well, when you start, Coco, you let us know how it work out for you. <laughs> Those are peace lilies too, Coco. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. You chilled and mellowed oh. out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can call those peace lilies too. <laughs> Gonna make you feel some peace, huh? Oh yeah, peace. peace I've peace. never tried that. Okay. <laughs> like people talk about the edibles and yes, gummies. I, I have never smoked none of that. I've I love never smoked the oils. That. I mean, that's what I love the oils. <laughs> and I've tried the edibles. They just make me go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Overpowered. Like, okay. But back to you, Roger. <laughs> um all of your collections. Oh, look at that. Oh, see. Wow. Some of them look like um the those catheters. Some of them look like when you were in high school and they used to tell you about sex ed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get us banned. <laughs> and they used to tell you about sex ed. <laughs> oh my God. You can get this different. <laughs> you can get this different STD. <laughs> uh, Coco had a uh, Coco, he grew a uh, cactus and succulents. Different types of cactus plants and different type of succulent plants. Oh, um, yeah, this one's got a little flower. Okay, that's a nice color. I like that. That it's like a pink, pinky, pinkish type of red. That's oh, nice keep Coco away from that one. That one's gonna end up in her hair. <laughs> <laughs> they say the cactus uh, flowers are the world's beautiful. Um, most beautiful flowers. So they are. Ah, that is that is pretty for real. Imagine okay. a bouquet of some of these flowers. Oh my god! <laughs> do they smell? Uh, do they? I don't think so. I've never really. Let me see. No, I, I don't think they're. The ones from these ones are very fragrant. The oh, okay. These these longer ones. These green ones. Mm -hmm. They have big old flowers the size of my hand. Wow! Big flowers, yeah. yeah. And they okay. only bloom. They only bloom at night. Oh. And where they're from, yeah, where they're from in Mexico, only the bats and the moths can pollinate them to make fruit. Because they only bloom. make fruit. Yeah. Oh, so they make fruit. Yeah, cactuses make fruit. You ever heard of the prickly pears? Yes, I love um. Yeah, I heard of the prickly pears. Yeah, there's a dragon fruit too. This one's the dragon fruit. Oh. This one looks a little different. You know what, uh, Roger? I I uh I have some smoothies that I like to drink, and some mm -hmm. of them have dragon fruit in it. And the red one is the best because there's white, 
where the meat is white and there's one with the meat is red and though the red ones are sweeter so those are my the, favorite the the oh, red man. dragon fruit the red dragon yeah, fruit yeah yeah because the, the red dragon fruit is what be in my smoothies uh this company called uh, daily harvest is where i buy my smoothies from and they mm -hmm. use the red dragon fruit in some of the smoothies so do yours produce um fruit or they don't um for the last you know four years it's very kind of sporadic none of these ones because these are kind of comfy they they only bloom when they're very uncomfortable they're trying to survive they're trying to pass on their genetics they think they're about to die so that's what they try to do they try to create fruits and seeds to continue their life so like this one here i don't i haven't given it water for a long time and uh you know it grows a flower these if they're in nature they're still popping up flowers because there's not a lot of rain i keep them comfy here you know i can water them once a week you know guaranteed once a week and that's it no okay. except in the winter time because the winter time in the nighttime it freezes so if you water them and and it freezes in the nighttime it'll Ooh. kill the roots and uh the plant will die yeah now, what kind of cactus is that right there Sometimes. so this is this is just uh it, it would just look like a you know like one of these uh column looking ones but there's a mutation that makes it do this kind of brains they call it a crest. Cresting. It looks fuzzy. <laughs> it looks fuzzy. Okay. Yeah, it's. I'm not it's, gonna um, you with a bug. <laughs> oh, stop! <laughs> but you see how it kind of looks like a coral reef type thing. Yeah. Like some on the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. So that's that's a mutation. This is another one with that mutation. See that? Mm. That's unique. Yeah. So, Roger, where do you find your cactus uh, plants from? I mean, not the plant, but like the um, seed, if you want to grow from a seed, or what do you... Uh, most, ooh, yeah, cool. most places, um, like nurseries, they, they'll they have they'll have some gems, some of them, so I'm always just constantly looking anywhere. Go to swap meets, people's garage mm -hmm. sales, like this is something that um, if it's a rare one and I can identify it, I'll buy it. Most of the time, people don't really know what they have, so oh, that's okay. what I do. But I'm I'm everywhere. Same thing, like you said, um, gemstones and rocks and things like that. I go and buy them anywhere. I, wherever I go, I find them, and um, yeah, I just buy them up just because I know how rare some of these are and most people they don't know they don't because they've never collected things like this you know yeah. now that other one that you showed to me it kind of reminded me of like like that one kind of mm -hmm. reminded me of like a rose or open cabbage what kind of cactus is, is that this is um what they would call a succulent um, but it's its own family called the Dudleya, almost like dude, but Dudleya. Okay. And um, this one's native to California. Okay. From where I live, the mountains out here have a bunch of varieties of this one here. Okay. Right. And they look. It's and they get the, right. They get this waxy white on it, which is really it, that's what makes it awesome. Is that it's super white what are what can you use cactuses most of them are just for collection for me it's an inspiration so i buy i buy and surround things uh in my life that inspire me i do art so i need things around me that bring me creativity oh mm -hmm. uh that other one what is that the same kind of succulent that reminds me of a rose yeah, is that, that still one. dudley no, this is this is another variety called Echeveria or Echeveria. And how do you, uh, you spell that? Would... How do you spell that? E C H E V E R I A. 
Okay. Now I like that because I love roses. Okay. Yeah, you'll <laughs> like the you'll like the echeverias. They look like roses. And there's all kinds of all kinds of different colors and patterns. And that, that fuzzy one. What is the name of the look, fuzzy one? Look, Michelle. What? Oh, this one? Uh-huh. No, the other one that was the fuzzy type of stuff. Oh wow. Is that still the, the last one? Let's, let the me get yeah, the area. Okay. This one here, the the white one. Uh huh. Is that the one you're talking about? No, the one that had the fuzz on it. The fuzzy one that had the fuzzy stuff on it. The one that looked like uh STT balls. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh this this oh, one. Put you in the car. Yes. What's the name of that one? This one's a crest. <laughs> You know how the there's that uh, toothpaste company Crest, or like a Crest uh, C R E S T. So you can type in, yeah, you can just type in Crest cactus or Crested cactus, and then there's okay. all kinds of varieties of this style where it, okay. mut so, it mutates like that. So that and the the rose looking one, I wouldn't mind. Uh, planting on like on outside of my uh my right. uh, greenhouse when I when I get it put up mm -hmm. when they say uh Coco he's in California. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know I ain't got no sense. <laughs> Look at that, <laughs> Coco. Why you are so silly? Can I take? <laughs> Can't take you nowhere. <laughs> girl, what we gonna do with our brother, girl? I don't know. <laughs> Those paintings. Those are some awesome paintings, and they are spray paint. Oh. Yeah, I use, in this one, I use spray paint and uh, ink. So I use, like, a marker as well. That's how I get this this black line right there. But everything else is uh, spray paint, all the colors. Oh, those are nice colors. I like loud colors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can tell. See, but <laughs> yes, my lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on wow. You are really good, Roger. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I like that yellow and that pink. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Interviewing, uh, doing an interview. I'll call you back. <laughs> I'll do the interview. I'll call you back. <laughs> he said he's talking on the phone. Yeah, I'm doing an interview. I'll call you back. <laughs> uh, I gotcha. That's why it's giving me a graffiti feel. Yeah. <laughs> that was. I mean, that was my background is is uh, graffiti. That's how I got. Okay. The, the painting is that now I can make money putting it on canvas. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is a recent Wonderful. one. Okay. I should have had you to put your cash app up. <laughs> <laughs> So have you uh, put any of your work in like commercials? Yeah, or... I've, I've done that um, mostly in the San Diego and Riverside area. This is Southern California. And um, yeah, I used to do that a lot. Recently, I haven't done anything like that because I got into the plants, but I'm coming back to my art. Okay. Do you uh sell any of your art? Yeah, so um when I post it up on my Instagram, uh people will like it and uh when I get done with it, people will be like, um, I want that. Like, okay. Okay. Well I will have to look for you on uh Instagram so I can follow you on uh Instagram. Yeah, my Instagram is transinfinite, so T R A N S. And then infinite, I-N-F-I-N-I-T-E. There's okay. just one word, transinfinite. Okay. 
Wow, I would definitely look for you. Yeah, so like after this, I'm gonna do a time lapse of uh, I'm gonna put some yellow in this dude. Already kind of started putting the yellow, but um, I'm gonna do. I usually do like a time lapse of me messing with it and painting it. Okay. It'll, it'll show people wow. the process. Okay. So, do you have a lot of your artwork on your Instagram? Yeah, I have everything really. It's just my my art, my crystals, and my plants. That's pretty much it. So, do you sell the crystals as well? Yeah, I sell those when I do. Like, I'll do some random swap meets and stuff like that. And I'll sell the crystals. I'll bring the plants too. All of his artwork is on his Instagram. Okay, is that the one with the? No, that's not the one with the. Um, it, no, that's not the one with the uh, cotton candy swirl. <laughs> cotton candy swirl. Mm -hmm. Are those the crystals? No, those down in the plant. Uh, no, these are just little rocks. Um, oh, okay. The crystals, I'll bust those out. I'll show you real quick. <laughs> okay. I'm about to go in the garage. Let me see. Yeah, I'll be. I showed him yesterday. Hold up. Okay. Multiple things. That I, <laughs> I have a lot. Collection <laughs> of things. I love it. So this box I already showed you, so I'll just show something else. Oh, that's a big old that's a crystal? Oh my god. Those are beautiful. Look. Oh, I bet that that would be so pretty when the sun hit it. The sun is hitting it. Look. Oh wow. Yeah, this one's from Congo. The Congo. This is a, yeah, this is a yellow crystal called citrine. Uh, Coco want to know what crystals do you have? Like, do you have like different type of crystals? Yeah, all kinds. All kinds. Coco. Garnet. Wow. All over the world. Quartz. A bunch of stuff. Stuff that looks like shards. Stuff. Okay. It looks like a piece of ice. That dude on it. <laughs> like you can mix that in like with the uh like if you like if you have like a whole bunch of crystals in different colors, you can just put those like on top in different areas. That'd be pretty. Mm -hmm. Those are nice. Uh Coco has a question. She wanna know about the crystals energy. Um it's everybody is different. Um, you know, I can break it down to you and, uh, you know, tell you what everybody else tells you, but it's, it's up to the person really. Um, some people believe in energy, um, of the crystals to bring certain things. Um, for me, that's good, you know, like, um, cause people, when people put their minds together, it becomes more powerful. So let's just say this one, they say quartz is you know, clear, so quartz is everything. It'll do the full rainbow, which means that it covers all the colors, red all the way up to blue and purple. And so with with stones, everybody believes about the colors, the different colors um, correspond to uh, your energy centers of your body. So like the bottom is more of like the red, then it goes to the yellow, orange, uh, green, then blue. And that's uh, that's what the stones are all for. The different colors that correspond to certain functions. So like you have your heart, which is green. Also pink stones. You have your throat blue for communication, things like that. So, you know, it, it goes all the way to, to your crown, which is like the top of your head you know, which would be the violet. So it, it's, 
for me, my favorite is the chords. If we're talking about energy and things like that, this is the, you know, the catch-all because it's the it's a clear crystal, and it breaks up the light into the rainbow spectrum. So it covers all, it covers everything basically. That's what I like. All right. But it's to what everybody believes, you know. What everybody believes is, um, it's true to, you know, each person. To me, I like I said, I like things that inspire me. Is that you know, and if it's natural, I automatically like it. Okay. So you look at a, a beautiful different. Wow. Mm -hmm. God's beauty, I tell you. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Creation. Yes, from the earth, Mother Earth. And you know, people believe in different things, but I don't. I don't. You know, I don't like nobody who what they believe because look at that We can learn something from each other. You know what I'm saying? So exactly. Look at all these triangles. You this is a, a ruby. There, Michelle, like the what? The triangle in that. Oh, that, I see that. And on the oh back, it looks like a star on the back. Uh, on the other side, yeah, it looked like, oh, um, that's what I get out of it, like a star or whatever. Yeah. Thank you, Coco. We have we have Fly to thank for this interview because he, he met uh, Roger before I did. And uh, I just met Roger today and asked him to do the interview. And he was so nice to come and let me interview. Oh, now that's, oh, I like that. Ooh. Yes. Now I, I need to what is that? I need to buy that from you, Roger. <laughs> can you put that aside for me? <laughs> yeah, I can put this one aside for you. Oh well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I have to send you my email. I mean my real name and everything, my address. So hey, I need I need to buy that from you. Yes. Yeah, this one's the this is for your intuition. This is uh -huh. uh Labradorite. Kind of like Labrador the dog. Okay. So Labradorite. Sets out all camera colors and Yeah, this one I, this one's cool. It has uh, all the different colors like on the it. The violet, the blue, I see it all. Yeah, look at that blue right there. Oh my yeah. and that gold. OMG. Blue and gold is my high school colors, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and my college colors is black, red, and gold. <laughs> now you could kind of see it in that uh Ooh. That, it just depends on how the where like, you are with the light. So, like, if you move around, you can get different things. Yeah. Oh wow! Oh, I can't really get my hands on it. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, yeah, thank I'll you. This, I'll set this one aside for you. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, just all kinds of fun stuff. Like I said. Okay. All and, right, and, Coco. And I love it. I mean, the things that I've seen last night <laughs> and today are amazing. The way the earth just creates. Look, oh. the, look it, it. And where's that come from, Roger? Right. This there. one's from Africa. This one they call the spirit quartz. Oh. Because it has little, little tiny crystals all around it. Oh, that's so glittery. And it's uh, like a purple color. So it's kind of more of a rare. You and don't really a, see that. It's a rare one that you just collect. Wow. You let that one go. <laughs> I'm, I can sell anything. Honestly, I'm not. Okay. I'm not attached to anything anymore. I've, I've learned my lesson of keeping things. Okay. I'm here to share. Mm -hmm. everything you know there's, do, you, mm -hmm. do you have there's, more than one of those um i've pretty much sold all of them i want that one <laughs> this is the other one right here okay i'll you take one of those three. too i'll take one of those you want those and fly yeah <laughs> okay which one you want fly that one the first one. i want the first one do I wanted the first. <laughs> oh, look now, we got to flip a coin when we end this life. <laughs> oh, 
She about to have an auction. <laughs> Goes to the highest bidder. We gotta find out what we gotta say, please. Okay. Oh, oh, no. I like it. Well, you can have your uh African crystal. I take that one and the other uh, and those are my talking about me. Mm. How about that now? Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> because it's the spirit crystals, and I'm like, remember, um, <laughs> spiritual mom was telling me that I was one with the the with the spirits. The spirits. Yes, that was. Ooh. That is nice. You have a very nice collection. Okay, and I, I am at all. Oh, that's why I'm quiet, you guys. I'm usually <laughs> making jokes. Oh, look at that blue. Look at that. that yes. Oh, Omg. These uh, are uh, poisonous crystals, though. The poison. I mean, how, yeah. how are they poisonous? I mean, if if I touch the blue crystal and I. Um, eat something with my hands and I ingest, I'll have a stomach ache, I'll have diarrhea and vomit. Oh, wow. I won't die. A lot of things in nature, they won't kill you, but you'll vomit and you'll you'll have diarrhea. Your stomach will hurt. Oh, I used to have a song for that one. A <laughs> song? <laughs> yes. Fly. <laughs> Like when your stomach starts to bubble, then you know that you've been <laughs> you're in trouble. Diarrhea. <laughs> Diarrhea. <laughs> yeah. See, look at that. Oh. Just nature. Wine with nature. Wow. All I can say is wow. <laughs> <laughs> And you say you learned your oh. lesson. How have you learned your lesson with collect? I mean, with let with things. Because there has been crystals that people wanted, like let's say for a lot less, and I didn't want to let them go. I'm like, nah. And I still have them, so it's like it's better to just sell them than just keep them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And the. Uh, if somebody's interested, then it's theirs, you know? That's that's what it goes down to and, you know? Yeah. I, know. I, have, I have certain ones that I keep. Like, my rule of thumb is I'll buy, you know, certain ones. And if I, if I just keep one from the batch, then that's all I really care about. Because I've sold out of rare stuff that i can't find anymore and at the time i'm like oh yeah i'll just go here and here and i'll find it but no i never <laughs> found it again and so if i have it if i have multiples of it you know i can sell all of them except for the one because then i can be like okay i have this you know i don't have to go and try and look for it again yeah okay and what are those in are those poisonous as well um the there's like metal in here but i don't think it's poisonous uh cobalt i don't know mm -hmm. i don't think so i don't think cobalt's poisonous but yeah the pink is a fun color in nature to find i mean any color is fun in nature roger uh coco have mm -hmm. a uh, on the screen okay do you purify your crystals before you send them all oh, i've been told crystals can hold an energy that energy as well yeah like um you see how i'm outside right now they're being cleansed right now just by being outside when when uh when you're holding them and you're focusing on them and putting your intentions into them and doing that kind of work you're changing how it's made up inside with your thoughts because our thoughts are electric and mm -hmm. so with that electricity because stones have electricity as well so we kind of program things into it and um even unintentionally so that's why she's saying the whole thing with cleansing the crystal and things like that 
Okay, so you just put them out in the sun and the sun will, will uh, profile them. Oh no, he got stuck. So, you know, some people that I do, it'll just him. Okay. Yeah, they'll just reset back to their, their normal. Um, yeah. The normal energy or whatever. Um, see, Coco needs to be up here interviewing you with all this. <laughs> I have no idea about crystals. And We're all learning. Energy <laughs> and. Uh, it's 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 like that. Uh, they don't. So. Uh -oh. We lost them. I hope he come back. This is so new to me. I mean. I, he drops. I hope he'll come back. <laughs> But this is this is interesting. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Coco. Okay, uh, and I'm glad I see like I people don't know who they're missing out on um, when like you be mean to people on Big O when they kick people out of the room. You never know who you're uh, coming across. Mm -hmm. So Roger came in my room, he sat and talked with me, and I found out all of these fantastic things about him. Yes. Uh, we have another guest. Uh, oh, good, he came back. Hey, thank you, God. Hey, welcome back. Hey, <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> we have another person on the, live, on the live with us. Can you tell us who you are so we can acknowledge you? And thank you for joining the live. We are learning a whole lot from Roger Gabriel about <laughs> crystals, about cactus. Uh, he showed his artwork, so we are really enjoying ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's all about, right? <laughs> Just enjoy yourself. And if, yes, you learn, um, if you learn something new, then that's even better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sly and Coco, do y'all have any more questions? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What is he? Oh, he's uh, he, he oh, I see. he's, he's yeah. muted. He muted yeah. <laughs> yes, what I'm about you? Myself my baby call. I'm so oh, okay, um, that's okay, right? Yes, um, all of the crystals, and we've seen that. And you have a lot more other passions. I know we don't want to hold you too long, <laughs> but those moccasins you showed me last night, those were impressive. Yeah, wow. that you say you hand stitched and yes, burnt. Can you show them? Yeah. Uh, see, it's a right. man of many talents, yes, I do all kinds of stuff. Yes. Roger is <laughs> oh, a man wow. of many talents. That's why I said you never know who you come across when True. you're on social media. You just exactly, it's so many talented people out there. I'll count look, look. look. And he made these, the design on these moccasins. Is that like a key ring? Yes. Yeah, a little key ring. Oh, my gosh. Look at you. Oh, my gosh. That and is too so cute. What the Indian wore the moccasins. Yeah, there's like a yes. cactus. There's a cactus on like a table looking at the sunset. Oh, uh, wow. Next to a cliff. <laughs> wow. See, he's a, amazing. I mean, amazing artist. Uh, oh, wow. I, I mean, I can't. So it's, it's all of them key, key rings? Yeah, they all have the little the ring on it. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh wow! Wow! Thank you for showing us everything. Thank you for sharing all of your knowledge about the uh, cactus and the succulent. Thank you for showing your arts, the uh, stone, the <laughs> yeah. the, uh, the moccasins. The uh, oh my gosh! Thank you so much. For <laughs> everything okay. and, and and please come again. You are welcome anytime on my live. Anytime. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Coco, do you have any more questions before we end? 
I know we couldn't get everything in this little one hour or whatever. <laughs> this little 45 minutes. Yeah, this little 45 minutes. <laughs> but we learned so much from you, Roger. I mean, keep doing what you're doing, brother. I mean, it's I've learned so much. And I followed you on I followed you on Bingo. So I, you know, I will be follow, I mean we'll be coming to visit you live when I catch you. Exactly. Uh, yeah, I don't go live on that anymore because I'm with another app. So I just visit people on oh, Vigo. Okay. So I would when I catch you, I, I check y'all. Which way is she? This way. <laughs> what? What you talking about? What you talking about, Fly? To get up by Wow, so but we, just, we just love to have fun and laugh and yes, just we know do. each other. So, like I told you before we started, just, just be yourself, just be laid back, be goofy, whatever. Okay. <laughs> but we enjoy having you here. And I am so glad I got to meet you last night. It was <laughs> my pleasure because I've learned so much. I mean, I'm, I'm serious. I mean, it's been a pleasure. I mean, I'm definitely. And I salute, and I salute you. Thank you so Thank much. You. I appreciate it. I appreciate to learning many, many more things <laughs> from you because I will be tuning in. Exactly. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Roger, for for coming today and sharing everything with us. I enjoyed it. Uh, just whenever you want to come, just let me know. And I will, <laughs> we'll right. jump on here. You no, know, just some more cactus you want to show or some more anything that you're doing. Hey, All right, I'm one of your biggest supporters. I mean, I, I just <laughs> know everything. Hey, Anna. Hey, girl, hey. <laughs> you, Anna? You so that's one of my good friends, Anna H. Aries. She's on YouTube as well. Okay. <laughs> this is Roger. We were just learning about cactus and succulent. He showed his artwork. Uh, we saw some stones. We saw some uh, moccasins. We just learned a lot for him today. So you missed a good show. <laughs> look, see, look, Miss Anna, this, all of this is just from one little person. <laughs> with, with a big imagination. I mean, oh my gosh, I love those colors. Okay, beautiful. Uh, just, I mean, I'm in awe, and I'm never in awe about it. <laughs> <laughs> so it takes a lot to impress you, huh? <laughs> yes, Michelle would tell you, I'm never in awe. I'm always cracking jokes. Uh, <laughs> And I'm never in awe. Um, I never quiet. <laughs> that, <laughs> Cause, uh, I mean, it's just amazing. And it's it, everything that you do is just interesting. And it has my attention. And I focus it, it, it's all <laughs> on you, my brother. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> Your mom will buy it right now, Emma. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I know. I, I mean, I know so many people be like, uh, that went, that went, and that went. <laughs> <laughs> My if I had a million dollars, I could buy them all. To say, okay, I take that, that, and that. <laughs> and and Miss Emma, there with um, these paintings are with uh, what is it, Roger? Spray paint and spray ink. paint and ink. Yeah. Uh, I child, I'm not good. But I, I will have to get this information at the end of the video, and then I can type it in when I'm when I end the live because. He got to spell stuff to me 500 times for me to get it right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what other social media are you on that we can find you on? That's pretty much it. It's just the Instagram. That's yeah. all I pretty much did. And now, now I'm doing the Bego app. So yeah. now I'm on there checking that out. So yeah. far, so good. Yeah. So okay. We'll Wonderful. see. We'll see. How See what happens. Do you have a YouTube channel? 
Not yet. I mean, I could. I, I had one a long time ago that I used to do um, drawings and put music into it, but um, not. I haven't done anything on YouTube recently. I think I should start it back up or something. Oh exactly. yeah, I would definitely follow you. Let Let me know as soon as you start it back, and I will follow you. Yes. Exactly. You, you got, definitely have you my two support. Right here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if yes. I make, if I can make more pages, I would. <laughs> oh my God, no more pages. <laughs> okay. Um, and what is your Instagram again? It's T R A N S Trans Infinite. Mm -hmm. So I N I F I N I T E. Okay, I will be looking for you on Instagram. Yeah, Trans Infinite is transcending infinity. Okay, so there's a funny story, real quick. There's a guy named Paul Erdos, and he's mm -hmm. kind of like one of those savants, you know, that they just are consumed with, uh, you know, certain talents. Like his was mathematics and uh, what they call math theorems. And um, he would travel all around the world and just try to figure out math theorems. And he always worked with the world's best mathematicians to try to figure these things out. One of the things that he tried to figure out was uh, a formula that basically explains there's not just infinity, there's more past that. There's more than just infinity. So. He ended up passing away, and uh, the, I think the dude was German to do that, you know, um, figured it out after he passed. Um, he named it after the dude is, uh, they called it Trans Infinite. So that's why my name is Trans Infinite. Trans Transcend okay. Yeah, Transcending okay. Infinity. Okay. Okay. So there's more than infinity. There's yeah, there's more. Yeah, okay. it keeps, there's I'm more. It keeps life. going. <laughs> it doesn't just stop there. So yeah, that that was uh something I I don't read books or anything. I learn everything from other people and um you know online and things like that. But that book I actually read. It was about his life. Oh, okay. And oh, yeah. the name of that book was? Uh, the Man Who Loved Numbers. The Man Who Loved Numbers. Loved okay. Numbers, yeah. It's a it's a cool story. See, like, on the back, it looked like somebody's walking. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'll draw on the uh, box of them sometimes. Oh, I don't have any on this one. Yeah, I'll do little drawings and stuff on the backs of them. Okay. Wow. And he's not only an artist. He well, he's an artist, a art, real artist. He, he did a rap for me last night. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow. Okay. Yeah, um, I like music too. I do. I do a lot of rapping and uh, what they call freestyling is just. Hey. Going with the beat and just you know just <laughs> telling stories. I like that. So that's what I'd be doing on Bigo. I just turn it on and start freestyling. Oh, oh, right oh, 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 That's what I heard last night. I heard rap. <laughs> oh, I heard wow. <laughs> He just do it all. That is wonderful. Yes, that's why I said a artist, <laughs> not just a artist. A artist, a man of many talents. Yeah, that's what I was saying. He's a man of many talents. Yeah. Wow. That's what you should have named the like an artist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Roger, I'm not gonna hold you up. We have taken enough of your time. But again, thank you so much for coming. And like I said, you are welcome anytime. Definitely. Thank you guys for having me and you know, just have a good time, you know. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes. And I will be talking to you about those songs. Okay. <laughs> I can know oh, yeah, I have, I'm gonna set those aside for you. <laughs> okay. Yes. And I salute you, my brother. Definitely. Thank you guys. Okay. Thank you to my 
Hyena Sister Coco Delicious for coming. Okay, uh, thank we. you for, to our other friend, Anna H. Aries. They both have their own YouTube channels. Okay. Uh, yes, very talented young ladies. Um, awesome. But thank you all for coming. I hope everybody enjoyed this live. Uh, we look forward to Roger coming again. I'll let y'all know as you come again. Exactly. <laughs> and Fly, as always, thank you for uh, being with me and helping with the questions. You know I got you back. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, Coco. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Definitely. All right. Well, we're going to end this live. And uh, everybody have a wonderful, blessed rest of your weekend. Oh, Saturday. Yes, yes, I know. I got to go back to work Monday. Yeah, same here. Same here. <laughs> Almost over. I but know. Yeah, I know I don't work. So I roll from one side of my bed to the other one. So. <laughs> <laughs> like, you see what Anna said? Uh -huh. You yes, see what Anna thank said? You. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm the silly co-host. So, uh, <laughs> I I thank my hyena sister for having me. I do, I do, I do. I love, I love her. I love fly too. We have fun all the time. I mean, we have done bigo together. We've done up live together. We we just do everything together. So we we talk all the time, you know. So we're just like peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Coco. Thanks for being here. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Roger. Definitely. Thank you, Roger. Okay. Bye, everybody. Like, like the twins huh. used to say, go home, Roger. <laughs> <laughs> I, hear that. I heard that my whole life. Oh, my God. <laughs> sister, sister. <Okay. laughs> I love watching that show. <laughs> Okay, me as well. <laughs> All right, bye, y'all. Be safe. Right. <laughs> bye, everybody. Toodles.